I started June 11th to chase in Lyman, Colorado. Storms initiated right on the front range, right by my target. Driving southwest here for the intercept, you can see a rain-free base and wall cloud already starting to form. I got off the main highway to take some dirt roads and get in closer for a better view. Colorado is an amazing place to chase. It's wide open and the higher elevation makes the air super clear here. Chasing further east and south you wind up with a lot of hazy skies, but out here the visibility is unlimited. The wall cloud is getting super low as it's dragging in a ton of rain-cooled air. A second wall cloud is now forming to the north of the original one. This was a promising sign as it looked like the supercell was attempting to cycle and perhaps put down a tornado. Watch the left part of the screen below the wall cloud. It looks as if the wall cloud actually touches the ground here. This is not a tornado as this feature was not rotating and there is a hill that also creates the illusion that this feature was on the ground when it was actually well above it. Right here is about when the storm transitions into an outflow dominant high precipitation mode. You can see the old wall cloud has disappeared and the new one to the north is starting to fan out in a large gust front. This was not promising in terms of catching a tornado. The gust front motion made for some dramatic time lapse video here though. That was Chaser Bob Shaver who went zipping past me in the black car. We were leapfrogging each other the whole time while chasing this storm. Here's a rather photogenic precipitation core with lots of churning motion in the elevated base ahead of it. I can feel that the outflow on this storm was really cold, which was not a good sign for tornadoes. This scud here is caught in the outflow of the storm and creates some mesmerizing shapes in the time lapse video as it gets stretched and pulled by the different air currents. With this storm looking like it had permanently transitioned into an elevated HP supercell, I started heading southwest to go after some new storms coming off the front range. Here's another neat cumulus being pushed by the outflow. You can see rows of cumulus here moving north into the storm I was leaving, continuing to feed it. I managed to drive into a culvert that I didn't see next to a shoulder when I pulled off to shoot the front range storms. Luckily some friendly locals with a pickup and a chain were able to yank me out and I was back on the road in no time. Some tornado warned storms were tracking northeast past Los Animas, Colorado, that I decided to go after. I got one last look at my original storm here before heading south.
On the way down to the next storm, there were some amazing cloudscapes. The sun was out lighting up the back of these thunderstorms for some amazing contrast. Here's some rainbows on the back end of the storm I was heading to. As I emerged from the rain, there was a beautiful Mamatis display above me. They were a deep blue color. I tilted the camera straight up to shoot them as I made my way down to the storm's base. I wound up getting on the storm just after dark when it picked up a tornado warning. I saw an interesting base, but there wasn't enough lighting to film it. <laughs> 